Hello YouTubers, it's Akeisha and I am back with another video for you guys. Just wanted to encourage anyone that is thinking of buying a home supernaturally with the supernatural favor of God to hang in there and stay tuned to see how you can do it. So guys, I just want to encourage someone, whoever is thinking of purchasing a home by supernatural favor so that they can be encouraged to do so. Sometimes we think that we want a house, but yet we don't have the money. We don't know what to do with the resources, where to go and who to ask questions. And some people don't quite understand when you talk about supernatural favors so but you can actually purchase a house with the supernatural favor of god and i will tell you how you can go about doing so so my um chapter that i'm going to use or my scripture that will be used for this supernatural favor of purchasing a house will be Matthew 7, 7 to 8 and it's a well-known scripture when i was buying my house all of them i would say the three house that i've purchased in my lifetime this was the scripture that i stand on you know in life there is everything the bible has everything everything it's the best book in the world it's the most sold book in the entire world everything everyone rich billionaires they live by the um the laws of the bible and the rules of the bible and that's why they are able to be who they are right now and if we follow the step because that's what god wants he wants us to be rich he wants us to be wealthy he wants us to be comfortable he wants us to be happy on this earth but in the midst of doing so he wants us to do it to his glory to glorify him so match seven um seven to eight so the that would be the three step that i would say there's three steps step number one ask and it shall be given to you step number two seek and you shall find step number three knock and it will be open unto you first key of doing this is by praying and this is a component your prior so first you need to ask god lord i need you don't want you need a house you need a house and you should have your reason why you need it everyone needs a house everyone need a shelter you know, you need a house. You let him know that you need a house. You, that's where you're asking. And the next step is seeking, stepping out by faith. Seek is to, for me, is stepping out on a spiritual level, is stepping out by faith. You ask God by praying. You go out, you start searching, looking for houses, looking for anything that you want. Um, and God will lead you. You can find something. You'll find a home. And for me, when I walk in, I look at houses, I know what I want, I know I have an idea of what I'm looking for. What I normally do on all three of them that I purchase, once I know this is it and it feels like home, I place my hand on the wall like this everywhere. As I walk, I keep I put my hand on the wall and I claim it. Lord, I claim this house in the mighty name of Jesus. And you, whenever you ask, you have to ask in the Son's name. In Jesus name Lord God I'm claiming this house in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name I claim this house and that's how I normally even if you're not saying it for anyone to hear you you just touch and you meditate it. you say it in your mind and you claim it. it said knock and it shall be open unto you so I asking and seeking while you're asking and seeking you are also knocking you're knocking you're knocking, you're knocking out the door of God's heart. You're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. It, the door will be open. He will open up the door for you. Any locked door that is locked, he will open it up for you. So the second part of this is considering a, a down payment. So the down payment now, guys, is a part that is the troublesome part for a lot of people because they're thinking, yes, I need a house, but I have no money to purchase this. What I would suggest is 
you guys give yourself at least the least three months you can give yourself six months you can give yourself a year um, but the least I would suggest is three months and how you do it how you go about doing this is by the scripture for the down payment I would suggest this scripture let me find it I so guys so it will be Malachi 3 verses 10 bring he all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now herewith saith the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the window of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it so what this is saying is and this is what I go by pay your tithes not only tithes I believe you should pay your tithes you should give back to the church and once you give back, God will outpour his blessing upon you. In doing all of this, I would suggest a fasting. So you go on a fasting while you're praying and asking God for this house. You seek by stepping out in faith and you go out and start looking. You can look on the internet. If you know anyone that's um, like a real estate person, you can let them know that you're interested in purchasing a house. If they can show you something, they normally send you a list and you can go through it and tell them what you're interested in and then go out make that up make the appointment and go out and go look at these houses not because you don't have the money go out and go look at these houses if it's something that you think or that you know this is what you want and this is you feel it that this is my home touch it and claim it in the mighty name of Jesus thirdly I know it's the down payment now we have to come up with the down payment how am I gonna make this down payment remember while you're doing all of that you're paying your tithes you're helping people like if anyone come to you for help help them if you know that people need help and they didn't even ask you still help them because you know that they need that help and that is like giving back that to me is a part of a, th a tithe tithing you're tied in it's not just paying money giving an offering to church but it's also like fighting into someone's life sowing seed into someone else's life you can sow a seed by word by encouraging someone you sow a, a seed by giving to the needy you sow a seed by helping someone so if someone asks you for help i believe you should help if you can't help you should lend a helping hand. That is a way of tithing and giving back to God. Yes, and if you do so, and this is one of the things that a lot of billionaires and millionaires and rich people and wealthy people do. They give back. They give back to charity. They help out. They all, they're always given. A lot of them always given. If you give, you will always receive it doesn't matter if you're a christian it doesn't matter if you're a sinner once you give that's just the law and that's just the, the one of god's law you give you will receive and he will not go back on his word his word will never go void you give you receive so my thing is my overall thing of getting a supernatural home is you go and fasting first thing i should have said in the beginning first the fasting is the umbrella of this supernatural divine intervention so you first you go and fast in and you prayed you ask God I need Lord I need a house I need a house I need a roof over my head I need a roof over my children head I need a home you see and I give and even if I don't go to church on a Sunday because I'm telling you guys I'm I don't normally go to church every Sunday I'm going to be transparent with you guys I make sure that my offering would get to church on some Sundays and sometimes it's a little bit sometimes it's a lot but I was sowing my seed because I know that if I give as what Malachi 3 verses 10 said I will receive he will outpour his blessing upon me enough that I cannot even contain it and I believe he did that when I was purchasing my house and the thing is that I said in one of my other video video was I didn't even have money at the time when I was looking I saw this house I touch it I claim it in the mighty name of Jesus and I remember the real estate lady said to me well if you get this house then I know and I didn't said it say it in my mind I speak it out loud I claim it out loud and the um, real estate lady said 
well, let's see if your God will hear your prayer. But anyways, she wasn't the one that ended up doing the paperwork and sell when she everything with me because she wasn't the one. So I need and you use someone locally in the city because that's where I was. And when I came here, I saw her after I bought the house about a couple weeks after and when, we, when I went to the grocery store, I saw her and I'm like, hey, and I'm like, we got the house. And she just stared at us. She was just staring because and I wanted her to know because she said, let's see if your God is going to hear your prayer. And I want her to see that my God heard my prayer. And not only that, as I said, when I was purchasing the house, I did not have a penny. I did not have a dollar. And I said it to the real estate guy, like he goes, okay. So I claimed it and he goes, okay, so we're going to have to put in, um, if you really need it that bad, we need to put in an offer for this house. And he goes, we're gonna put it in on Saturday. So I said, okay. So he calls me and he said, oh, congratulations, you got the house. And I'm like, yay. And then he goes, so you need to come up with, you need to put $15,000 down and then close in, you come up with the rest of the money. I'm like, $15,000 down, I don't have it. And then he goes, well, go get a loan. And I'm like, well, I went and got, I went, I was trying to start a business and I went to get $3,000 loan and I was denied. I was not approved. So I'm like, if I go and ask for $3,000 loan and I was denied, are they going to give me a $15,000 loan? And you know what guys, in 24 hours, I went and I went to this place I usually use and I got approved for $9,000 loan. And I was like shocked. I feel like I was dreaming. But then I was like, I need more. And the lady suggests that, why don't you go to try another bank and see if they will lend it to you. I went home and I, was, I called up a few places and they said no. So I called up a few places guys and they said no. And I went online and I saw this bank and I started to do an on online um, application. And then it says your approved for eight thousand dollars and i'm like Ugh. and then it says okay just to go into the bank and to give them the code pre-approval code and they will give you the check and i did so and i had honestly transparent a little bit of fear i had a little bit of doubt and i'm like oh my gosh i don't know and i went in and i sh gave her the code and then she just the lady did whatever and she just gave me the paper to sign and she gave me the check for the 8,000. So in all in all, I got more than the 15,000 that I needed. And that was within 24 hours and I was able to put my down payment down. And the rest is history. But I can tell you this, I was in shock and awe and people like my family that was around me that was seeing how I was diverting into this area was in shock because I could not get $3,000 like three months, like, sorry, not three months, three weeks ago. I couldn't get it. I was not approved for it. And I wanted to start a business. And I was able to get within because I prayed, because I seek God, because I ask, because I knock, because I give back. And because I was paying my tithes, I was helping people that I know. I did things like I have friends back home that I know that needs help and I make sure that whenever I have it or ever sometimes God just puts some things in your heart like give or help this person do it do it don't be disobedient sometimes God God that person is praying and asking God for help and you are the Samaritan and God uses you as his angel to give back to those people so you give, you, you ask, you seek, you knock, and you give. You pay your tithes, you give to the needy, you give to, and I know we're all needy, right? But if you give, God will bless you and bless you with, he will pour down his blessing that you have no room to receive it. And he will pour down enough so that it, your cup is overflowed and it's overflowing onto your children. You know, like if you need to purchase a house, you t step out in faith, you go on your fasting, and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but if you do these three steps 
along with giving, you will get your supernatural home. So hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month. And I'm going to ask you guys to share this video so that other people that is seeking or trying to figure out how to purchase a home without no, not knowing where the money is coming from, this is the rules of how they do it biblically and supernaturally. See you in my next video.